Hello Zombie Slayers and Seven Days to Die fans. I'm bringing you another seed showcase. I'm just on the top of a car park in the Hub City. Just built myself a little tent. It's taken a few days to get this one together. Uh, what are we, day six, and I've been running around in creative with no zombies just to map out this whole place. Um, right, so this map seed that I'm bringing you is called Iridescence. Capital I, and I'll put it up on screen. Capital I, R I D E. S C E N C E. So the only capital letter is the I in that, as it is up on the screen. All right. So I found this one because I'm looking for a seed for myself, actually, just to play something different. And uh, I was having a look through the Seven Days to Die forum, and there's a section in there on seed names. And I saw this one come up, and what grabbed my attention was it has three hub cities, and uh, it does. So I thought, well, I'll have to check this one out. Uh, let's have a little look. Right, so let's pull up the map now. All right, let's pull up the map. Thank you. So here we are. Central Hub City. In fact, the center, or zero, zero, as near as you can get it, is this bit here. So it's a little north of the center, but, you know, you'll still find the Hub City in the center. And I'm on a car park top over here. Uh, again, decent uh, spread of biomes around it. Um, you've got a bit of green out here, plains, desert, uh, burnt, and it does have quite a swathe of um, the dreaded wasteland biome, but there, there are roads that go through it, so you can traverse through that. So, uh, three hub cities, so let's have a look. We want to get on to seeing exactly where they are. So your first one here in the center, uh, full-sized hub city, nice biomes around it. If we go off to the west, just a quick skip as you can see, it's still in the same map area. Uh, there is a road that goes through it through a burnt biome, so you can shortcut if you wish uh, into another mini hub city. Now, this one's still six high, but only four across. I'm sure that the mini mini hub cities were four by four, so again, decent sized hub city, not far away from the main hub city. Now, the draw for this is the fact that it's got three hub cities, so where's the other one? If we carry on down south, we'll come to these other towns in a minute, we have another full-blown hub city. So it's not a mini hub city, it's another large hub city. So I've not really seen many maps that have got three hub cities, of which two of them are full-blown hub cities. Um, it's got a nice little run through the middle here, too, with all the, uh, the shops <laughs> straight down the middle. And again, biome-wise, plains, plenty of green and burnt on that side. Uh, the miniature hub city, which was just up here. Let's have a little look. We've got a lot of burnt, again some green, again some desert, and we do have some wasteland up here. The biomes on this particular map, they're, they're, they're quite sizable. I mean, there's some weird sections, like, you know, it's a bit of snow, a bit of dark green balm, uh, biome, and then desert. So there's little bits of that, but other than that, most of the biomes are relatively uh, large, including the wasteland biome as well, which uh, is quite prominent uh, in the center north here. So we have uh, the three hub cities. Now, this particular town, as, uh, as well as the two large hubs, the one slightly smaller hub, so the three hubs in total, has seven towns eight traders that I've found, and five crossroads. So for me, we've got, what, 23 sort of locations uh, of, of core interest. Now, only seven towns. That's uh, not as high or as many as some of the towns I've been playing, which have been up in the 10s, 11s, and 12s. But I do like the idea of the three hub cities and their locations to each other. So let's have a look and see where these uh, towns are. Uh, I've marked up on the side here uh, one of the unique um, markers for each of the towns. Uh, there's three of these particular markers. They represent where the hub cities are. So you can see if this is where we are in the center, how far everything is from you, or from the center anyway. So traders are marked with an X. Other towns are marked with... So they, they go out quite some time. So what do we got? Eight traders on there. Um, page two. As you can see, quite a ways from the town center, a lot of the stuff. The closest stuff being, what, one and a half uh, K from the core, which I guess would be these two here. So uh, it's, it's not that far, is it, really? 
uh, all the way out to the furthest hub city which is 3.6k uh, down to the south uh, west so let's have a look at where these towns are let's uh, just put these back thank you I'm going to start off with the north I think uh, just to north of the two hub cities here we have uh, a decent sized town it is in a wasteland biome uh, well it's actually interjected with uh, burnt biome and swamp biome uh, decent enough town uh, we got any bunkers in here looks like we've got a bunker down here I think this may be the uh, well bunker I like bunkers uh, good places to move in sort of pre-built underground safe um, again though you know some of the shops around interesting uh, mixture of biomes now if we come across to the east from here there was one of the traders down here uh, follow this road through we we'll pass another trader on our way to a wasteland and snow biomed uh, town uh, again I didn't explore too much of this one I don't think uh, well you can see what I've explored what I haven't so there could be some surprises in there lots of roads that lead off to nothing on this map um, but I guess they do sort of take you into the heart of certain biomes if you're off resource gathering and uh, if we carry on east again and a little bit more north from that town uh, right up here in the edge uh, top right edge oh, I'm gonna need some food um, of the map you'll find a town in the snow biome again let me just zoom in on that one a little bit for you here if I pause a minute you can see what the uh, coordinates are but this um, showcases to show you sort of you know what's around uh, it's a rough location I have certainly not unpicked a lot on this particular map this one was just driving around in creative uh, but you can probably find uh, some bunkers in here. There is a prison down here and The various other uh, shops and locations. So if you like snow, then you've got a nice little swathe of snow up here in the top right hand corner of it sort of two Towns sort of semi-connected I guess into the snow. So that's across the top of the map um, now this was just above the 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 two hub cities here so if we continue off to the west along here uh, just runs you out to a four-way again a lot of um, wasteland biome out here but uh, not to be confused there is also a fair chunk of burnt biome I'll take burnt biome over wasteland biome any day uh, bleeds quite nicely actually the two I think burnt biome bleeds quite nicely into a lot of the different uh, biome changes uh, following that through to the four-way if we come across just further west of the second hub city uh, we come to a nice green biome uh, town again oops, try and get this at a decent height for you just hover over that so you can see the uh, but the, I mean this is straight out west you're not far from the edge of the map which I would imagine is around this sort of mark here where you start getting into the, irradi uh, the radiation zone and most of the towns I found had one or two of the bunkers uh, this one's got one of those bunkers down here was there another one yeah and we've got another well bunker up here so if you do find yourself spawning out on the west side that's a good town to go for uh, not a lot of, around it apart from a four-way uh, but you're not far from a hub city you're not far from a good mix of uh, differing biomes as well uh, you do have the wasteland just here which could be a pain in the ass especially when it comes to uh, plane drops so that's pretty much the north and the west um, of the thing. Let me just hover over this so you can grab the coordinates of the map. Uh, this one as well. We did the snow one. Okay, there you go. You can just pause. Uh, so some traders along this way, some towns up this way. Furthest west is really a, a, just a, a four-way but there is a nice green town out here. I think this is the only green town. So if you're looking for a green town as your main town, that's really your only option on this map. Its location may not be the best, but uh, we'll come to what's, uh, what good locations are around here. Now, if we follow the map along to the east and we have a look at where we were from the snow town, we know this is near the uh, border. So we're running up to the edge of the map out here. Uh, looks like some roads with some meant to connect through but uh, didn't quite but it's a huge green biome because some plains in here some more green 
uh, takes you down to a four-way another trader now how far is this if we go back to the west to the main town or the main hub city as you can see if we follow it out this way there's really only a four-way some broken roads so you're gonna have to traverse cross-country to get out to this area uh, but there's a trader out there another trader down here burnt um, uh, biome leading into a uh, green biome another four-way so as you can see that's pretty much we've covered the north so the most of the towns or the three main towns are up here onto the top right the far west will be the green town uh, out straight east it's really just a four-way and a lot of large green biome following that down I guess we come back to the main hub now these are the areas that I think are probably the, the the key areas you probably want to start is we've got two towns down here one desert town and another one a plains town so the plains are just a little out to the east if we just follow out from there you can see that comes down to that four-way and then a long road all the way up to another four-way and a long road all the way up to the towns in the north so it's quite a run up that way but if you're looking to build out in the open then there's some great spots around here to do it so if we have a look at this plains town which is just southeast i guess from the main hub so connected by road in fact just about everything is connected by by roads in one fashion or another and we have a look at the uh, plains biome again we've got i believe there was one or two of the bunkers yeah we've got the bunker here which is the well bunker and we have the sort of the shed with the, the backyard bunker out there and again a nice spread of all different types of POIs uh, including the main ones we'll be after the shotgun messiahs the popping pills the cracker books the working stiffs and, and shamways if I remember <laughs> there's always a shamway somewhere which is a bit of a waste but uh, not every town has all of the uh, main key POIs but there is a good mix around there so this was the plains we we're just heading down south east on this one we have another trader down here so it's not bad for a trader uh, location and another four-way and then we're pretty much leading out into just dead ends that's the uh, four ways connecting all the way up to the north as well now you can follow oops, a road that comes out of the plains town and this will take you into another small town this one is all in wasteland so we found some more wasteland down here it's a sizable chunk but you know it's 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 down on the south uh, border so um, decent roads through it so you can traverse through it there is another trader down here so I guess you're gonna have to be quite careful going up the POI road to him um, I don't know where this green stretches it might stretch out closer to that trader than having to go through the wasteland um, so that's that town and that's back to the other hub city over here the third one uh, the full-blown one as well so there is another town down here I don't know what's in this one let's have a little look obviously these change but it looks like there's a well bunker over here uh, a couple of caravans brothers theater then we've got the prison so again, a good mix, you know, worthy of coming down and uh, looting, that's for sure, and not too far from the Plains one, which is pretty well located uh, to the hub city as well. Um, but the best town, I think, is this one here in the desert. This is between, which south of the two hub cities. So it's in a good location. We've got straight roads up to either or both of the hub cities there. And of course, you're not too far from the Plains town over here as well so you've got a secondary town around now you can do it the other way around um, notable point about the desert town and this looks messy as it is on the map but you know, it just looks like a nice flat desert when you're in there so it actually looks quite nice when you're in there it is hot you do have one of the bunkers here this is the shed one with the outback is it or is that a well no I think that's a well bunker sorry You've got a prison and what a lot of people look for and I've never really uh, built in one or used one is the missile silo so within this town which is a smack back in smack bang in the middle of the desert apart from a little bit of green here which is going to be quite handy for uh, growing trees 
um, it's well located for the two hub cities that are north uh, but equally it's just a straight run down this road here and you're in the hub city in the south so as far as central locations are concerned I think this is pretty much one of the areas if I was to play this map that I'd be looking to build on and again if you just follow this one out it'll take you to another four way uh, then uh, branches down south into nothing uh, there's some more wasteland I think over there but other than that it's a lot of uh, green and uh, desert out here uh, back to this road and if you swing around north on that one past another trader it'll eventually take you up to the other green town to the uh, far west of the uh, two hub cities so as a map pretty decent map I like uh, the way it's spread out yes the biomes are large including the wasteland but the wasteland I mean it's quite impressive when you're driving through it you just see it as far as the game will render uh, and quite eerie but you can get through it safe enough uh, especially if you're on a mini bike I don't, I don't know how I'd feel about it if I was just on foot uh, but from a mini bike perspective I think this is a map that's definitely designed for a mini bike uh, everything's out on the edge uh, the center is pretty much dominated by two of the hub cities and uh, two towns over uh, more onto the south side um, out on the east there's plenty of open spaces traders a few four ways uh, no wasteland biome that I could see so that's uh, quite nice more traders that way and leads all the way up to the three northern towns again more traders around again a lot of uh, wasteland biome in this area but you can avoid all of that with the roads as we said so all in all although it's only seven towns they're quite populated so I'm, I often wonder whether you know the more towns you have the more spa sparsely populated the towns become and whether the fewer a number of towns you have uh, just basically mean, means more POIs packed in I don't know uh, but the towns seem to be relatively decently uh, packed there is some you know open spaces in there uh, so there you go uh, the seed iridescence seven towns eight traders five crossroads two large hub cities and a third mini hub city that's actually not that small either so plenty of looting that can be done here an interesting map certainly the sort of the role play I like to have as my backstory uh, this town would sit perfectly into that and I haven't played in a desert for a while so if you're looking for a change uh, some interesting biomes nice sizable biomes with a good spread of towns and three hub cities then uh, I recommend this seed map for you uh, again seed iridescence put it up on screen for you right hope you enjoyed if you did please hit that like button if you'd like to see more content like this I don't do it that often but I've got some other seeds I'm planning on showing as well then do hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when uh, I upload next right thank you very much hope you enjoyed take care bye for now